Okay, here we have some more maximum minimum problems. These ones are about area. So we are trying to maximize area given a certain amount of uh, fencing. So in this case, they want to make a rectangular field. So we've got this field that is going to be a rectangle. So remember, a rectangle would have two widths and two lengths. So that would be the perimeter. And we have 600 meters of fencing to do that. So we have 600 meters to use to build the fence. Uh, I think I will reduce this. I can see that all of these numbers could be divided by 2. So let's reduce it to 300 equals length plus width. The question is asking to maximize area. So the area of a rectangular field would be length times width. Now we can't solve for area with two variables. We can't have a length and a width, so we want to replace one of them. So what we're going to do is take our perimeter formula and isolate for either L or W. It doesn't really matter which one. Um, I think I will isolate for L. So all I'm doing is subtracting this W from the right and subtracting it from the left. So length is equal to 300 minus W and I'm going to replace length with 300 minus W because they are equal. Okay, so now we have a formula for area. So we're replacing length with 300 minus W and then we still have that other W. Now we're going to expand, so w times w, and it's negative, is minus w squared, and then w times 300 is 300w. So now we have a quadratic formula or equation for area, and we want to maximize. So of course you know that means that we need to have it in vertex form, so we need to complete the square. So I'm going to factor out the coefficient of negative 1, because we can't start a bracket with a negative. We're going to complete the square by taking the 300 and dividing it by 2 and then squaring it. So 300 divided by 2 is 150. And then 150 squared, I think, is 225. Let's see, 150 times 150 is 225.00. Zero, zero. So that will make that perfect square. Remember we have to subtract the same amount. So now we're going to write it in vertex form. So W, the quadratic, is going to factor to W minus 150 twice. Don't forget that we have to multiply that negative 1 that we pulled out by the 225.00. Zero, zero. And then we can write it in vertex form. We have W minus 150 twice. And then we have... So what have we found? Well, we found that W minus 150, if we want to solve, set it equal to 0. So the width is 150. This here is our maximum area. So let's go back to that perimeter. If the width was 150 and we had 600 altogether, we are going to have 300 left over. So we've got 60 minus two of these 150s, two widths. So minus 300. And then we have to divide that by 2 to get the length. So the length is also 150. So the rectangle is actually a square. And if you remember from grade 9, when we optimize or maximize area, a four-sided shape will always be a square. And that, that optimizes the area. So the dimensions 
are going to be 150 times 150. And if you multiply that together, you will see that that gives you the max area of 225, which we see that number in the, in the vertex formula. Okay, so here's another one. Uh, this time you have 80 meter, meters of fencing, but we don't need a fence on this side because there is a stream. So we only need a fence on three sides. So the perimeter has to have two widths and one length. They use X and Y, but we can use width and length. And we have 80 meters for that. I'm going to isolate for L because it only has a coefficient of one. That way I'm not going to get any fractions. And we want to maximize area. Area is still length times width. Um, even though it's only got fencing on three sides, the area is still the length times the width. And we are going to replace length with this because that's what equals length. So area is going to be 80 minus 2w. Oops. times w. So we're replacing length with 80 minus 2w. Then we're going to expand. So we're multiplying w times minus 2w and w times 80. Then we want to complete the square. So let's factor out that coefficient of negative 2. So 80 divided by negative 2 is negative 40. And then we will complete the square. So we'll take half of 40 is 20, and then 20 squared is 400. And then we're going to subtract 400 so that we don't change the value of the equation and don't forget to multiply that. So let's put it in vertex form. We've got w minus 20, half of 40 is 20, twice, and then we have minus 2 times minus 400 is minus 800. And so we can see that the width is going to be 20, and this is my maximum area. So the dimensions, so let's see what we have here. We had 80, so the width is 20 and the perimeter had to be 80 meters. So let's subtract the 40, which leaves us with 40, and then we'll divide by two. So the length, I'm just gonna put length here. So the length is gonna be 20 meters, or yeah, 20 meters. Oh, no, we only have one length, so it's 40 meters. We don't have to divide that by two because we only have one side. So the length is 40 meters. So the dimensions of the rectangular area are 40 by 20. And if you multiply 40 by 20, you will see that you get 800 meters squared, which is what we got in the equation, right? We got that number right there, and that's the number we want to check. Okay, one last one. We have now a handball court that wants to be surrounded by stripping that is 30 meters long. Again, we have a wall. So we don't need any fencing on that side. So our perimeter is two widths and one length, and we have 30 meters to do that. Again, I'm going to isolate for W or for L. So that's what L equals. And then we know area is going to be length times width. And we're going to replace the length with this because that's equal to length. So area will be 30 minus 2w times w. Then we're going to expand our brackets. So we get minus 2w squared plus 30w. We want to maximize, so we're going to complete the square. So let's factor out that coefficient. So three, 30 divided by 2 is 15. Then we need to determine the number that completes a square. This one's going to be a decimal. 
So we're going to take 15 divided by 2 and then square it. So 7.5 and then squared. So what does that equal? Uh, that equals 56.25. So sometimes it is a decimal. That's okay. So we're going to add 56.25 to make that perfect square. Then we're going to subtract 56.25. And remember to multiply those together. So in vertex form, we have negative 2. We have W minus 7.5 twice. That's half of 15. And then we're going to multiply negative 2 times 56.25. And that's going to give us 112.50. So this is our maximum area. And that happens when the width is 7.5. So let's go back to our diagram. So we know the width is 7.5. We know we had 30 meters of fencing. So the length is going to be negative 30 minus 2 times 7.5. So that's going to give us 15. And rule of thumb is if you are maximizing a rectangular and you have only three sides, generally the length is double the width.